Is Power BI free or paid? It's a simple question, which is sometimes tricky to answer. But we're going to make it real simple for you. And whether you're trying to learn Power BI or trying to deploy it within your team or organization, we're going to give you the answer by filling out this grid. And as we go along, we'll also share some tips on how to get started with Power BI. So first of all, I just want to say that know that you're not the only one who may be confused about this. And I really think you can't be blamed for this confusion. So let's uh, go about on how somebody might get started on Power BI. Now you may think that, ooh, uh, you hear about Power BI and you're really excited and you know, I'm going to go to powerbi.com. But if you try that, you're going to get to this uh, somewhat confusing sign up page. And I don't want you to start here. This is not the right place to start. So if you don't do that, well, maybe you're going to do the next best thing, which is what we all do when we're trying to find Microsoft software, we Google it. So you go to Google and you Google Power BI. Now with that, you're going to get to this page and let's say you open that and it says, Oh, Hey, great news. You can get started for free. Or can you? Well, you're all excited because we all like free and you click on that and it says, Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Are you sure you want it for free? And I'm like, yes, I already told you so. And you click on that and you get another slightly confusing sign up screen, which is asking you for your email address. And again, this is not the right place to start. And I'll tell you why. Now, after all this, maybe you're going to go back to Google and Google Power BI pricing and which is going to take you to this page and you open that and you go, whoa, what happened to free? You had been promising me free all this time. And now you're telling me you got to pay money for this. Well, take a deep breath. <laughs> I'll get you all the answers, my friend. Now, hey, so before we dive in, if you're new to the channel and if you're a Power BI beginner or still feel like a beginner, then know that this channel is for you. So make sure to subscribe and yes, click that bell so you're notified whenever we answer your Power BI questions. Okay, so now to answer this question, is Power BI free or paid? We got to take a step back. And let's understand and look at what Power BI is and how it works. So generally it works in these three cycles, author, publish, consume, and there are two main tools involved here. The first one is the Power BI desktop and the next one is the Power BI.com platform, right? Now there are two roles that we've been talking about. First, if you're a learner, I would assume that's why you are. That's why you're watching my YouTube video. You're trying to learn Power BI. And in that case, your big focus should be on the Power BI desktop tool. Probably 80% of your focus should be there, but you also would need uh, to use powerbi.com. On the other hand, if you are a user of Power BI, then you're going to need the powerbi.com platform. Uh, so let's talk about the licensing for that. But if you are interested in learning more about how Power BI works and how you can get started on it, the author publish consume cycle that I mentioned, then definitely check out my number one ranked 60 minute Power BI tutorial with more than 4 million views. We're going to link to that in the corner or in, and in the description down below. But again, right now we're focused on licensing. So let's recap. If you're in the learning mode, you need Power BI desktop for sure. You also need powerbi.com. If you're a user, well, then Power BI desktop doesn't apply to you, but you're going to need to be on powerbi.com. So now is the big question. Is it free or is it paid? Let's start with some good news. In fact, this is great news. If you're learning Power BI, then both of these are 100% absolutely free for you. So you may be asking, okay, well, how do I get that? So let me show you how you can get the Power BI desktop for free. So for that, my best suggestion would be that you go to uh, our friend google.com and type in Power BI desktop download. That would be uh, my recommendation to you. You can click on the results, click download, and that's where you can download and install. Now, if you're really interested in it, then you can also check out my full video on this, which takes you step by step on how you can download and install. Now there's a little bit of nuance here. There are actually two ways to download the desktop. One that I just showed you. Another one is using uh, the Microsoft store and this one compares and contrasts both of them tells you the pros and cons. And so you can choose which one you prefer. So again, for that, watch this full video. Again, we're going to link to this video as well. So for the next one, 
uh, how do you get the powerbi.com account for free? Now, remember the earlier, the signup pages that I was warning you from staying away because that's not the right place to get started? Well, you need to go back to that one now. Now, why was I warning you away earlier? Because as I mentioned that the Power BI desktop is, is the right place for beginners to focus on. That's where at least 80% of your focus should be. And again, the tutorial that I mentioned covers a lot more on that. But when you're ready, you can go to powerbi.com and the same sign up screen that you had, uh, uh, you know, you should, you can easily complete the sign up there if you have a work email address. Now, if you have uh, something like a Gmail address, you can try it, but it's not gonna work. So, uh, but, <laughs> You know, I have something for you. So if you are in a spot where you don't have a work email address, maybe you only have a Gmail, then I'm gonna link to you to another video which shows you how you can still create a powerbi.com account even if you don't have a work email address. So watch that video if you need more. But again, uh, the, uh, the uh, you know, either way, you should be able to create your powerbi.com account for free if you're looking to learn Power BI. But of course, let's talk about the other scenario, which is what about all these users we would have in our system? So eventually, if you're learning Power BI, at some point you're gonna deploy this report and you want other users to be able to see this report. That's what that's the purpose of Power BI reports, right? Now for this, for sharing Power BI reports, you need a paid powerbi.com license for each user who's gonna see the report. And yep, they don't have to, uh, you know, even if they're just reading the report, viewing the report, they would still need a paid license. So now, of course, your question is, how much is it going to cost? Well, that's a great question. So if you have anywhere from one to 500 users, roughly, uh, using this, then my recommendation would be to go for the pro license, which just costs you just $9.99 per user Per month, and again, start small. I would say start with a small set of users, just trying out Power BI, and then see how that goes. In fact, for starting out, you don't even have to pay $9.99 because when you sign up on that sign up screen that I showed earlier, you get started with a 60-day free trial. So make use of that to kind of test Power BI and use Power BI uh, till till uh, you know you're ready uh, to get the pro license. Now, if you have uh, more than 500 users, then it might be a better option for you to get the premium license, which starts from about $5,000 per month, but that may be a better option if you have lots and lots of users. So that's the final summary, my friend. Uh, for learners, it is absolutely free. For users, we showed you how much it's gonna cost you. And again, if you wanna now dive deeper, and, and really learn, okay, I understand the licensing, but uh, now I wanna understand how does Power BI work? How can I use it? How can I use it to start building reports and, and uh, build some prototypes and test reports? Then go watch my Power BI tutorial. I will see you in my next video. Until then, power on.